The reason we've introduced IQ is because we had a very cumbersome and very onerous performance culture here. Uh, we were criticised for it last year. We had hundreds and hundreds of uh, quality indicators, but actually I don't think they indicated very much at all. And what we've been keen, what I've been keen to do is to really reduce the numbers of key indicators and ensure that the indicators we use tell us how good our service is. Um, so in a nutshell, IQ is just a very simple way of understanding what's going on across the Trust. I think it's really important that we only think about how good, bad or indifferent our care is. The seven indicators that we're using on IQ, I hope staff would agree, are fairly decent indicators of what we're doing. So the, the seven indicators are what's required by, uh, of us by our regulator, the Care Quality Commission, uh, and that's one indicator. We have, to we have to abide with our regulator's requirements. What standards have been set for us by our commissioners and we have to abide by those standards. Um, what is our clinical record looking like? So the people we care for, we need to make sure that we're able to demonstrate and show how good our care is, so how good is our clinical record. Are our staff being appraised and supervised? Because if we're not appraising and supervising our staff, how would I ever know that I'm doing a good job if nobody tells me? I think that's really important. Staff sickness as a measurement of morale. If I'm not very happy at my work, if I'm not being looked after at my work, chances are I'm going to go off sick. So I want to understand where there are difficulties. Um, am I living within, a, or are we living within our means? We've got a limited budget, we just have to work within it. And probably the most important measure is what are service users and carers saying about the service we offer. Now those seven indicators are, uh, I hope, uh, staff would agree, that will give us a decent indication of how teams are performing. And what we want to try to achieve is that every team is able to demonstrate um, progress across all of those fronts. I'm not interested in people balancing their books if, if p users are unhappy with the service we offer. I'm not interested in satisfying the regulator if our staff are all off sick. We need to get the whole thing in balance. So what I would hope that I can convey to staff is the importance of being proud of the work we do and recording it in a very simple system so that for those teams that are doing really well we can celebrate and for those teams that have got some difficulties we can support and improve because this is not about trying to say who's good and bad this is about saying if a team has some difficulty my mum's not going to get the care that she deserves from that team so our job as a trust is to support that team to improve and those teams that are doing well my job, our job as a trust is to promote that good practice across the, the piece there's an opportunity for our staff to influence the system. I want us to be really, really honest. I don't want us ticking boxes that we shouldn't be ticking. I don't want us to pretend things are better than they really are. Because if we get a really honest picture, we can support everybody to improve. So the reason it's urgent, I think, is to, to, to give confidence out there that we as a trust have a purpose that's entirely related to quality and that we can measure that quality and, uh, and satisfy the people who will be looking in that we're doing it well. Well, I mean, I think it's really important that we get this completed across the whole trust. We, we're a good organisation. Our staff are doing fantastic work. And I want to give confidence to our commissioners and our regulators that we really do have a handle on quality. So it's really important, in order to keep that confidence up and growing, that we get the IQ system fully up and running uh, by 100% of data being in there by the end of July. I had hoped that we'd be there by the end of June. But for lots of reasons, we're not quite there yet, doing really well. And actually, staff have really engaged with us, and I'm really grateful to the staff who have taken this in the spirit that it was offered, uh, have really put efforts behind. We've got some teams at 100% right across the trust, and what I'd like to do is to encourage all of our teams to get to the same place, because it's to our whole benefit that we get out there. So I'm, I'm really encouraging teams and team leaders to use the month of July to get us to the point where we can say to our colleagues in the outside world, we really, you know, we now have a fantastic system.